What's up guys, Ivan Carranza here and today is the 27th of January and I'm going in about 10 minutes or 15 to have my ACL surgery after the accident I had, after the car accident I had and I decided to document as much as possible of the whole process because I think it could be useful for someone out there who might have the same issue as I have and I think it's important to put it on my channel because it's part of what I'm going through right now so I hope you guys appreciate it as well and I am really looking forward to getting back to playing bass normally again I played a little bit yesterday I recorded a little clip on Instagram I'm gonna put it here To be honest, I am I'm feeling kind of nervous, you know, um, not so much because of the risk of the surgery or whatnot, because, you know, it's not an open heart surgery, you know, the risk of something ter terrible happening is like extremely low, right? But I like to work out, I'm an active person, other than sitting and playing bass, you know, I've played sports all my life, and my knee you know i've never broken anything here this is my first surgery my first real procedure and you know effectively effectively they're drilling holes in my knee and then taking you know a part of my ligament from my leg and putting it on my knee and whatnot and it's a long recovery process so that's what's making me a bit nervous you know the, the things that are going to happen afterwards because i know it's a, a tough battle i'm trying to keep my mood up but it is challenging I'm not gonna lie about that it's been challenging but it's also been a really interesting exercise in finding solutions and just try to find the things that I can do so that's been interesting and I'm gonna try to document all those things of course thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel we've just passed over 4,000 subscribers and to me that's mind-blowing considering that I haven't put any bass videos since November. So thank you so much guys, I really, really appreciate it. The doctors told me that they had to reconstruct completely my ACL and they also had to do my meniscus because apparently it was also broken. So it's those two things and that is gonna delay the full recovery process a little bit because if it was only the ACL it might heal you know I could be able to do more stuff a bit sooner but because it's also the meniscus I'm gonna have to be a bit more patient but overall the surgery was good uh, there were no complications which is good my stitches are looking pretty good I'm gonna put a picture um, and yeah the doctors and the whole staff at the hospital were super friendly and helpful and I'm really thankful that I had the opportunity to have the surgery done by a very skilled professional. On surgery day, I arrived at 6.45 to the hospital and I went to my room. Had to shave my leg and put on the surgery gown. I don't know if that's how you call it. <laughs> um, then after about half an hour, they took me to the surgery room. Then they put me a mask and told me to breathe deep you know breathe in breathe out breathe deeply and it took about like 30 seconds to one minute then i started feeling like kind of drowsy and then i just bam i was gone i woke up in you know the intensive care unit i was out of my mind i was everything was like spinning i was extremely tired i was like really high i don't know if i passed out a couple of times you know just slept again because i remember opening my eyes couple of times before they took me to my room again. I didn't have any pain at the moment. My, I, I felt that my knee was like kind of swollen or stiff, but I was not in pain, you know, it was like, I don't know how many painkillers they gave me, you know. After a while, they took me to my room and I was like still like all dizzy. They asked me if I was hungry, if I wanted to eat something. I was like, yeah. They brought me food 
And I was started feeling dizzy at that moment because I had to sit down a little bit. I was just laying the whole time, but when I sit down to eat, I started feeling dizzy. And I ended up throwing up all my lunch and they hooked me up on an IV again later and then it went away. The pain pills that they've been giving me or that they gave me to take home as well, they just, I just can't take them because, you know, I take them and I just get extremely dizzy. I want to throw up. I don't have any appetite. And it's worse than the pain, to be honest. The next day, so one day after the surgery, before I was allowed to leave, they had to take x-rays of my knee to see if everything was okay. And taking those x-rays was pretty painful, I gotta admit, because I had to you know, get on a wheelchair, so go out of my bed, and then get on top of that bed where the x-rays are taken, and then put, in, you know, put my, my leg in some weird positions. That was pretty painful. And as soon as I got back, the physiotherapist came and told me, told me that I had to walk with my crutches, of course, but still I had to walk. And that hurt a lot. The first couple of steps were brutal. It hurt really bad. And then it went away a little bit. You know, it was manageable. But the first two, three steps were like getting a nail stuck into your knee. It was really painful. Then it was okay. He showed me how to, I had to go up and down the stairs, even though I knew already how to do that. But that was painful, not gonna lie. <laughs> and when I was allowed to leave, uh, I came back home feeling pretty dizzy. I wanted to throw up. Uh, I slept pretty much all day. And that day at night, I woke up screaming in pain. Um, yeah, I remember feeling like a really sharp pain in my knee and just woken up, just screaming because it hurt so much and I had to take pain pills. That day I felt that I could walk actually a bit better later during the day. But throughout the day I was feeling like I had spiders like crawling on my leg, you know, on my stitches especially. So I'm gonna keep this diary going and I don't know the time stretches or periods where I'm gonna be posting this, but I'm gonna keep documenting everything, filming, taking pictures of the process and uploading it from time to time to see the progress. So I want to go back to playing bass as soon as I can. I'm really looking forward to that. And I want to do a lot of stuff that I have in my head, that I've planned. And like I mentioned in other videos as well, I've, there's a lot of gear that's coming or that I've bought and I'm going to receive soon. So I'm going to do demos and tests of that and other videos and other ideas that I have. Um, I hope that I get to do them soon. So I hope you guys are healthy and stay healthy. And thank you so much for the whole support. There's so many of you guys have that have asked me how I'm doing and constantly check up on me. I really appreciate that. That's very kind of you guys. And I hope that I can give back by making videos as soon as I can. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. I see you guys on the next one. Take care.